everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Ruby Ramirez. I'm in seventh grade, I'm 12 years old, and I'm a follower of Christ. I post every Wednesday with a worship song, some scripture, and a message afterwards. I am not forcing my religion upon you, but if you like this video and you'd like to see more from me, make sure you give it a like and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. And comment any questions you have about Jesus and the Bible, um, etc. I will try my best to answer them if you have any questions for me. But yeah, so so today we're going to be talking about how you can and should cast your anxiety on Jesus. Do you feel the world is broken? Do you feel the shadows deepen? Do you know that all the dark will stop the light from getting through? Do you wish that you could see it all made new? Is all creation broken? Is a new creation coming? Is the glory of the Lord to be the light within our midst? Is it good that we remind ourselves of this? Is anyone worthy? Is anyone whole? Is anyone able to break the seal and open the scroll? The Lion of Judah, who conquered the grave. He is David's root and the Lamb who died to ransom the slave. Is he worthy? Blessing and honor and glory is he worthy of this? He is. Does the Father truly love us? Does the Spirit move among us? Does Jesus, our Messiah, hold forever those he loves? Does our God intend to dwell again with us? Is anyone worthy? Is anyone whole? Is anyone able to break the seal? Open the scroll, the Lion of Judah, who conquered the grave. He is David's root and the Lamb who died to ransom the slave. From every people and tribe, every nation and tongue, he has made us a kingdom and priests to God to reign with the Son. Is he worthy? Is he worthy of all blessing and honor and glory? Is he worthy? Is he worthy? Is he worthy of this? He He is worthy. He 
So now we are moving on to scripture. If you'd like to take out your Bibles, you are more than welcome to, or if you want, you can just listen. We are reading from Psalm 46, just the whole thing. <laughs> God is our protection and our strength. He always helps in time of trouble. So we will not be afraid if the earth shakes or if the mountains fall into the sea. We will not fear even if the oceans roar and foam or if the mountains shake at the raging sea. There is a river which brings joy to the city of God. This is the holy place where God Most High lives. God is in that city, and so it will not be shaken. God will help her at dawn. Nations tremble and kingdoms shake. God shouts and the earth crumbles. The Lord of heaven's armies is with us. The God of Jacob is our protection. Come and see what the Lord has done. He has done amazing things on the earth. He stops wars everywhere on the earth. He sh breaks all bows and spears and burns up the chariots with fire. God says, be quiet and know that I am God. I will be supreme over all the nations. I will be supreme in the earth. The Lord of heaven's armies is with us. The God of Jacob is our protection. With everything that's going on in this world, we feel anxiety, worry, depression, etc. A lot of people feel this and it's a pretty common thing to feel. We can feel it if we have a whole bunch of homework or something with school, something going on at home, someone leaving you, anything to just bring up these feelings. And a lot of people don't tell anyone about this because they think they're different or weird and they're the only person that's experiencing this. But let me tell you, you're not alone and it's okay to not be okay. But let me tell you this one story. This story was a couple hundred years after Adam and Eve. Because of sin, the world became so bad, vicious, and violent. Nothing was good. It was so bad that God pretty much regretted making human beings. People only did evil things. But one person followed God. Noah was the only person that was faithful to God. One day, God told Noah that he was going to destroy the earth with a flood. He wanted Noah to build a huge, massive ark and take it to of every kind of animal, bird, and crawling thing and his family into the ark, AKA his sons, their wives, and his own wife. And Noah did what God said. So Noah started to build the ark. Everyone made fun of Noah, which I mean, I guess is pretty understandable for the other people because <laughs> they were just seeing someone build a huge massive ark in the middle of nowhere. I'm guessing, I don't really know, but he kept on building. And when the rain came, Noah and his family were all safe within the ark while everything was being destroyed and killed. And the rain, well, it rained for 40 days and 40 nights and the rain stayed for 150 days. That is like five stinking months, man. I know we've been in quarantine probably longer than that or like whatever, but I think this is a little different. <laughs> but soon the rain went away and the rain was totally gone. Once Noah got out of the ark with his family and all the animals and stuff, he gave thanks to God by building an altar and God made a rainbow, rainbow, <laughs> a rain, rainbow. I can't say that, I don't know why. To promise Noah or to make a covenant with Noah that he would never flood the entire world ever again. Now, let's go back when Noah was in the ark. Do you think he wasn't doubtful or feeling hopeless? Of course he was. Yes, he trusted God, but he was still human. He still worried. He was still doubtful. But God showed him that he could trust him and he is and was faithful to him. That is who God is. He is faithful. He can, you can do more than trust him with our troubles and problems. He is going to let you know that it's going to be okay in the end. You're going to get through it. You know why? Because he is always with you 
He is going to remind you that every single day if you let him. You need to remember that God will never leave you. And that there's going to be an end to whatever you're going through. Jesus knows how it feels too. Jesus came down to earth to experience all these things we go through. And he understands. He was scared when he was being crucified. Like, he knew he was going to get crucified. And do you think he was just so calm about it? No, he was scared. Every person would be. Like, but he knew that there was going to be an end to it. Your troubles will end too. So cast your anxiety on Jesus. He will take care of it. Yes, it's not going to be taken care of at your time. It's going to be at God's time. But God's timing is perfect. So until then, we can trust God, bring our worries to him, and know that it's going to be taken care of eventually. I know it's hard to be patient, and it's hard to just wait until God is who he is does who he does what he's gonna do does what wow can't use grammar um you know what i mean but god is gonna be with you every step of the way until it leads to that until it leads to being fixed um i've been listening there's a song that um i've been listening to called even if by mercy me and um because of it like not because of it but like i'm listening to it because i've been kind of stressing about covid a lot <laughs> um but there's a well the chorus is um i know you're able i know you can save through the fire with your mighty hand i know the sorrow and i know the hurt would all go away if you just say the word but even if you don't my hope is you alone it's really helped me to just give my worries to God, those lyrics. And um, my mom also got me this one journal. Give me one second. Um, two more seconds. I'm almost there. Okay. <laughs> um, she gave me this journal that I can write verses that will help me with my anxiety. Um, you can really write anything in it, like things that will help you, um, like encouraging words, verses. Um, if you need ideas, um, I have Isaiah 41.13. I'll have it on the screen somewhere. Um, Zephaniah, I think, 3.17, and Romans 8.28. All of them. Oh, and um, 1 Peter 5.7. I'll have them all somewhere in the screen. Um, but like with this journal it says i am with you always it's kind of hard to see it's right there but i'm with you always and that's what we need to remember with god because he is always with us but um you can trust god cast your anxiety on jesus and know it's gonna be okay it's gonna be okay <laughs> trust me on that because you know we have eternity of life with G Eter eternity life eternal life with jesus that is with no pain no sorrow no stupid stinking anxiety <laughs> and we know that time is gonna come whether it's gonna be in the next two hours or the next two years or even like 200 years you know but we well like when jesus comes back but uh, but anyways um we know that there's going to be an end to it eventually so cast your anxiety on jesus and know it's gonna be okay so i hope you guys enjoyed that video make sure you give it a like subscribe turn on the notification bell so you get notified every time i upload a brand new video and comment any questions you have about jesus and the bible etc um if you have any i will try my best to answer them god bless you peace oh peace for all and god bless you <laughs> bye guys